Hi there folks, today we're doing an extremely interesting topic, very much New Zealand based. And to start with we're gonna we're getting a blue sky in the background here, and we're gonna paint the biggest living tree on the entire planet. Uh, and it's up north of Dargaville somewhere in New Zealand. It's called the Maoris call it Tani Matua meaning the Lord or God of the forest. Uh, this tree we're going to paint Tani Matua, uh, meaning Lord of the forest or God of the forest. And it's very sacred to Maori in New Zealand. And uh, you can see why when it's here, it's just massive. And it was here before Jesus Christ himself was on the earth. So I mean, it's got to be special. So here we go, we're going to get a blue sky in. So we'll get that done and then we'll Come back to you. Okay, folks, now we've got the blue sky in there as a background. That's the first step, really, to do the background. Now we're going to come in with this gigantic tree. So we'll try and find dead center of the picture of the, of the drawing. There we go. And don't forget, this tree took 2,000 years to grow. And the tree is huge at the bottom and it almost stays the same diameter all the way up. It sort of thins off a wee bit. Kind of get him. And all is glory. I mean, it's rather humbling as a man to think that a tree could be more than 2,000 years old. You know, if we get to 100, we're doing pretty well. Uh, but to think that a tree this tree could have been growing here at the same time that Jesus was born on the earth 2,000 years ago, so it's quite special. Quite special. So Tani Matua is his name, and we're going to write that in the bottom of the painting. And it looks a very enjoyable thing to paint. That's the basic outline of the of the fellow. And she gets a little bit darker down the bottom here because of the light. It's probably a bit too brown there. Trying to do us a little bit of rough bark happening in there. Later on, folks, when we've finish the painting, we're going to draw a man hugging the tree, you know, because I mean, he, there's plenty of tree huggers around, but this fellow is going to just be down there, just as big as that, and it gives, gives you the good artistic scale of the magnificent size of this tree. I guess if you cut it down and sort it up, you'd probably build a hundred houses out of it. So now we're going to put in the background, the whole background of the bush that so surrounds this tree. Okay, so we just come in with some black to start with. It makes a good background. It's a tree here happening. So we're just getting a bit of the dark background of the bush in there. And then later on, we're going to do some highlights and do some actual bush. And the bush comes to life then, you see. So do some more tree happening here. Cabbage tree thing here. We've got some other bush here. Behind the tree itself, so you cut down there quite close. And then start to bush it up a bit. See that? Bush it up a bit. Because it's right in behind there. So that's sort of the a little bit of the background setting happening there. This will all become beautiful looking bush and there'll be ferns down there shortly. Uh, but right now we're going to go back onto the tree, branches at the top. So at the top here, this guy's got all these kind of funny looking branches that's just come off it. There. And they kind of cross 
steps over and they tangle each other up a bit. So this looks like a, a bad hair day, doesn't it really? That's sort of how it grows as it's, as it's grown. And it's got about a little, little knot hole there, a slightly bigger one down there. It's grown and it's got a couple of smaller ones there and there. Just sort of, sort of, I suppose branches would have been there once upon a time. Now, we're going to come in with a bit of bush for the cowrie guy. Leaves happening up in here. Leaves happening now and we can come back in and sharpen up the branches a little bit later perhaps if it, just to make it look a little bit different. Put a bit more realism. So we're just sort of getting stage one here happening for just try and blocking out the little leaf. I'll try and get a little bit more bush happening in the bush and here. Okay. So there we have a so I stage one as quick as that. Coming in. Now we can start working on the uh, scenery in the bush. So we're starting to get a little bit of highlight on the bush here. We start to add little bits of things happening up here on top of the tree. The green, fresh green leaves happening up there in the up in the clouds. So you don't have to draw every single leaf. Good thing about with dark and light, you can just kind of leave it up to your imagination. So the the highlight when it comes on, sort of in your mind's eye or at first glance, just looks sort of like a bit of a leaf happening in there with it. Where the sun's been hitting it, you know. This is a bit of a flax bush here. I think we've got a sharper brush here now, folks, and we're going to start adding a little bit of detail. Because at the top of this tree, it's got some dead branches falling down over the years. place would be some dead old dry branches to see if you were, if you were 2,000 years old I'm sure you'd have a few dry old branches hanging around and this poor old fella has now we can sharpen up some of these branches as well I'm gonna add a little bit more yeah, there he is taking shape folks Tani Matua, God of the Forest. Isn't he magnificent? Now you wait till we see the little person, the, the artist's impression of scale. So look, we'll, we'll bang him in now. Well, there's a few more little branches happening here and there. The tree hugger, here he is. We start very delicately, here we do is his round head, and his little neck, and he's got a white shirt on. Big long reach. There's the guy. And we'll put some blue jeans on him. Let's put some blue jeans on the guy. A bit more white on his shirt. There he is. Guys, giving the tree a big hug, and there's more light hitting the tree in the centre of it. Now, legally, you're not allowed to touch this tree anymore. They've fenced it off. They've put a nice boardwalk around it. You can go up quite close, but you can't actually touch it now because they're frightened of it getting a disease or something like that, and and it may die. As a lot of carry trees are uh, dying off in our forests. This is the ones that the early settlers didn't cut down. You know, they, they, they left us some, thankfully. <laughs> but it was big money back in the early days. Cowrie was fetching top pounds back in Britain. All the ships were built out of it. The, the British loved it for shipbuilding and uh, to help their quest and their conquering the world with building good cowrie ships.
and masts and everything planking. So Picari was popular, till of course they realised one day that it takes so long to grow that uh, no more left and if they planted some they'd have to wait another hundred years to get more. <laughs> so they weren't that bright were they really back in those days? They weren't that bright. There we go, that's getting pretty close to it and you could you could play around as long as you like people and doing nice ferns and bushes in the in the foreground. This is just to give you a quick uh, how easy it is to construct the basic uh, phase one of this painting. The small little guy, we've got to be very, very careful how we do his hair style. There's Tani Matua, Lord of the Forest. And what I sometimes do is do a couple of little birds on the side here. Just to show you the, how high up in the sky this tree actually goes. Look at that, Tani Matua. Well, thanks for joining us on this little exercise, folks. It's a quick illustration of how to do Tani Matua, which is the Lord of the Forest, the great kauri tree in north of Dagerville in New Zealand. And uh, it truly is huge, over 50 metres high, more than 2,000 years old, and uh, it's just a magnificent thing, and it's quite a joy to paint it. And you can play around with it for a long time to bring it to a standard that you wish. But there we are. Enjoy, folks. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again soon.